Shannon Sharp, born June 26, 1968, is an American former football tight end who played 14 seasons in the National Football League, NFL, primarily with the Denver Broncos. Regarded as one of the greatest tight ends of all time, he ranks third in tight end receptions, receiving yards, and receiving touchdowns. He was also the first NFL tight end to amass over 10,000 receiving yards. He was inducted to the Pro Football Hall of Fame in 2011. Sharp played college football for the Savannah State Tigers and was selected by the Broncos in the seventh round of the 1990 NFL Draft. During his 12 non-consecutive seasons with Denver, he was selected to seven consecutive Pro Bowls and four first-team All-Pros, and won two consecutive Super Bowl titles. In between his Broncos tenures, Sharp was a member of Baltimore Ravens for two seasons, with whom he received an eighth Pro Bowl selection and won a third Super Bowl title. Sharp retired as the NFL leader in receptions, receiving yards, and receiving touchdowns by a tight end. Following his retirement, Sharp appeared as an analyst for the NFL Today on CBS Sports and co-hosted Skip and Shannon. Undisputed on Fox Sports 1 with Skip Bayless from 2016 to 2023. According to Celebrity Net Worth, he currently has $14 million. At the peak of his career, Sharp might have been worth even more. It's noted that he once signed a $16 million deal with the NFL and made as much as $23 million as a sports star. Early life and education. Sharp, the younger brother of former NFL star wide receiver Sterling Sharp, grew up in Glenville, Georgia, where he was an all-state player in three sports at Glenville High School. He once joked, we were so poor. A robber once broke into our house and we ended up robbing the robber. He commented, I was a terrible student. I didn't graduate magna cum laude. I graduated, thank you, Lottie. At Savannah State University, he played football and basketball and also competed in track and field. In track, he competed in jumping and throwing events. Sharp was a three-time All-Southern Intercollegiate Athletic Conference selection from 1987 to 1989 and the SIAC Player of the Year in 1987. He was also selected as a Kodak Division II All-American in 1989. He led the Tigers football team to their best records in the program's history, 7-3 in 1988 and 8-1 in 1989. As a senior, Sharp caught 61 passes for 1,312 yards and 18 touchdowns, including three games with more than 200 yards. Sharp finished his college career with 192 receptions for 3,744 yards and 40 touchdowns. He was inducted into the Division II Football Hall of Fame in 2009, Savannah State's Athletic Hall of Fame in 2010, and the Black College Football Hall of Fame in 2013. Sharp openly admitted to being single, underlining that he had always prioritized his career over personal relationships. As he approaches his 55th birthday, he reflects on his decision, expressing some regrets but also displaying an openness to whatever the future may contain in terms of marriage. Professional Career Despite his stellar college career, Sharp was not considered a highly rated prospect in the 1990 NFL Draft. In addition to playing Division II college football, Sharp's size, 6 feet 2 inches, 230 pounds, was considered too large for a receiver and too small for a tight end. He was eventually selected in the seventh round with the 192nd pick by the Denver Broncos. After two mediocre seasons as a receiver in which he caught just 29 passes, Denver converted him to a tight end. This quickly paid off, as Sharp caught 53 passes in his third season. He remained with Denver until 1999 winning two championship rings at Super Bowl XXXII and Super Bowl XXXIII in the process. After a two-year stint with the Baltimore Ravens, where he won another championship ring at Super Bowl XXXV, he returned to the Broncos. He played there until 2003. From there, he retired to become an NFL analyst for CBS. Ozzie Newsome, the Ravens' general manager, said of Sharp during his career, I think he's a threat when he's on the field. He has to be double-teamed. He's a great route runner. He's proven that he can make the big plays. That's what separates him. He's a threat. Sharp was selected to the All-Pro team four times, played in eight Pro Bowls, 1992-1998, 2001, and amassed over 1,000 receiving yards in three different seasons. In a 1993 playoff game against the Los Angeles Raiders, Sharp tied a postseason record with 13 receptions for 156 yards and a touchdown. 
In the Ravens' 2000 AFC title game against the Oakland Raiders, he caught a short pass on third down and 18 from his own four-yard line and took it 96 yards for a touchdown, the only touchdown the Ravens scored, on route to a 16-3 Ravens win. As of 2024, this remains the Ravens' longest defensive play in team history. Sharp also caught a 50-plus yard pass in each of their other two playoff games. He finished his 14-year career with 815 receptions for 10,060 yards and 62 touchdowns in 203 games. Post-playing career Sharp was a commentator for the CBS Sports pregame show The NFL Today, including the Sprint Halftime Report and the Subway postgame show, replacing Deion Sanders and co-hosting with James Brown, formerly with Fox NFL Sunday, former NFL quarterbacks Dan Marino and Boomer Esiason, as well as former coach Bill Cowher. In the 2004 NFL regular season, Sharp defeated Marino and Esiason in the pick M game of the NFL today with a 53-21 record. On February 18, 2014, it was announced that Sharp, along with Dan Marino, were being relieved of their duties as on-air commentators on the NFL today and were being replaced by Tony Gonzalez and Bart Scott.